Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the Desro show match uh, against Revival. Um, Desro is a friend of mine and he's asked me to come along today uh, to cover the game for you guys. Um, I hope that Desro can compete with Revival. It's going to be a tough match for sure. Um, of course it is, it's Revival. Uh, but this is going to be a best of five show match. So the winner is going to get $50, um, which is thanks to... Um, let's me have a look. Thanks to let's have a look at Max Frag Ventrilo. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> Max Frag Ventrilo. So thanks to those guys for doing that. And best of five series. We're going to play all of the maps apparently. Um, so it's going to be first of all Antigua Shipyard uh, into Taldrum Altar, uh, then Daybreak Jewel Site, and then finally Bellship Beach. Um, I think it's going to be a rough match for Desro for sure. But I'm interested to see how his training's been going in the Gom House. Obviously living inside the Gom House. Um, training daily, multiple hours a day, even going to the gym and exercising daily as well. That all actually adds up. Um, whether it's enough to add up to beat Revival, I guess that's what we're here to find out. So uh, we can pretty much go into game now and see if these guys are ready to play. Um, let's find out. So I'm just looking over um, a couple of my notes here. You know, Revival, we've seen it multiple times. Um, he's kind of been struggling to get in, well he's been in Code A, but he struggled to stay in Code A, but he's usually gone up against Terran players. Um, just looking at his history in front of me, you know, SC, a great Terran player, he lost against uh, in October, and then Keen, uh, another great Terran player. The thing is though, he's actually very good against Protoss players, and he's he managed to be, in, in most recently the Home Story Cup um, qualifier, he beat Squirtle 2-0, and Squirtle's not a bad player. He's even beat MC when he turned around that GSTL match not so long ago. Um, I don't even know when that was, probably about August, I think, or maybe September. But anyway, the first match is going to be Antigua Shipyard. This is Desro, Team Legion Desro, versus TSL Revival, Zerg versus Protoss. And let's get this underway. So, in the top left, we do have Team Legion Desro as the orange Protoss, and in the bottom right, we do have TSL Revival. Um, I, I watched the show match that Desro played against Golden not so long ago, and on this map, um, Muters are very much so viable here. Um, we saw Golden use them, and Desro actually tried to use double Stargate um, Phoenix against it and it didn't work out so well for him so we'll have to see how that does go down today if that's a style that will be used by Revival um, other styles that Revival could use you know there's a lot of heavy roach styles um, and Ling play simply because that Protoss players like to take uh, an early third to this left hand side of the map uh, if you you know cannon or build a pylon and cannon up around this area here and make sure you wall off uh, the destructible rocks here also it's kind of easy to hold this base, but at the same time, if your opponent piles on the aggression and tries to, you know, run by into the main base and so on and so on, it actually comes a little bit difficult to defend. The hardest thing as a Protoss player to defend with here is definitely Mutalix, so I would not be surprised if we saw Revival do that. Uh, meanwhile, we do have Desro with the pylon um, close to the mineral field here. He's going to go for the basically a Forge uh, Fast Expand. I doubt he'll go Nexus first. Um, as you can see, he's going to be bringing down the, the probe now to build that Forge. The, the wall off here is okay, um, I don't mind, I actually prefer the one closer to the ramp, uh, even though it's a little bit more risky, I prefer having that extra dead space here uh, to build stuff within, because once you wall off you kind of cut your you kind of base around there, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, we did have 14 spawning pool go down for revival, and no gas has been taken yet, so he's probably going to be looked to take in that. Um, hatchery, but if Desro actively denies it with this probe like he's already doing now, he can even build a pile on there as well, so he might not be able to get the expansion down. Uh, we might see Revival take a third base, though. I mean, not well, take the third base as his natural, but there goes that. Are we going to see the uh, gas go down? No, so he's going to go take the base over on the right hand side. Uh, meanwhile, Desro did get that forge down. He's also going to be adding on uh, the Nexus pretty much now. And the thing is, with oh, I was going to say, with this pylon, you can actually keep the pylon alive and build a few probes from it within your build and then get that second pylon later on. But Desro decides to cancel it, get the money back, uh, and is just going to cannon up ASAP uh, and play ultra, ultra safe. So, four links have come out now. There's our expansion. Revival's going to be taking his third base in the natural area. Um, 
I mean, obviously, against Forge Fast Expand, you don't want to play really two base versus two base. You want to be grabbing a fast third. And he hasn't taken gas yet, so we should be expecting the third base to come down uh, around the 4 minute 30 mark here. Uh, meanwhile, Desra, what's he doing over here? Should be taking double gases now, I suppose. Let's have a look. Only taking one so far. Okay, there's the second one. Okay. And uh, the overlord getting pretty much the information that one gas has been taken, and it looks like he's just going to go around the back and probably get the scout of the second one. So, gateway has been added on. I wonder what Desra's going to do. I'm trying to think what he's going to do mid game. Usually, you can tell what people are going to do by the way they take the gases. So, that's something obviously we want to look out for if he does want to play double. Um, Stargate or anything, but the, w the way that we are seeing Revival play, Mutalists aren't really going to come into effect immediately, so he's probably going to have to defend, because he's taken three bases, he's obviously gone very, very heavy in terms of economy, so he's most likely going to have to defend with Roach and Lings earlier on, um, against any form of timing, and he could actually go Mutalist in the mid game once he's taken all six gases, and the tech switch is actually very, very difficult to deal with, if not scouted, so that's something that Desra is going to have to be active on and scouting and knowing what Revival can do. And Revival, like we said earlier, has beaten amazing Protoss players, including uh, the Gratos. He's beaten MC and the GSTL before as well, so Desra are definitely up against the wall. Meanwhile, this is the time where we should be seeing, as, this, as the uh, Subnet's call finishes, this is where he can add on a Stargate if he wants to play uh, kind of a, a little bit aggressive, a bit of harassment. Um, we'll see, he hasn't taken any other gases yet, so I doubt we're going to see double Stargate, but what we're going to see from Desro here is probably a, a void, a single Void Ray, backed up by Phoenixes. Um, the Void Rays are obviously going to be able to clear both of these Overlords out, and he may be able to put a bit of pressure onto this third base, but Revival's a Korean play, he's going to be hitting his timings perfectly, so I expect an Evolution Chamber to be coming down in the near uh, few seconds here to anticipate this Stargate play. Uh, very nice scout here by Revival. Checking those gases. You know, we talked about them, how they're such a very important to know um, what Desra is doing by not taking or having taken these gases. And uh, not taking these gases that early on means this happens. Extra gateway has come down, so Revival's already building up a story of what Desra is doing behind the Forge Fast Expand already. And uh, Desra is going to lose his cell, unfortunately. And does lose a lot of, actually no, I was going to say he loses a lot of scouting options, but he has got this probe here, um, we'll have to see what he does with that. Meanwhile, there is that Void Ray being chrono boosted out, gateways have been added on now, plus one as well, so maybe we could see a pylon placed down here, or maybe he'll use this pylon, but already Revival's got a Ling there waiting, so we might see Desert try to warp in Zealots and rush towards his third base, but I think Revival is going to be on the top of things, because I don't even know if he, Desert doesn't even see this link and now the gases have been taken revival knows that it's not a two base all in um or basically a, a very heavy gateway all in style simply because of that and oh desro throws down the pylon here and unfortunately for desro it is spotted immediately by this overlord and desro is going to try and warp in zealous into the main base but there's actually no units in production right now and he doesn't only has seven zerglings out so this actually does he not see it because this could do a lot of damage right now. There's absolutely no units out. Units are being made. A panic spine crawl has been thrown down as well. And only a few links out right now. Desro can warp in again up here very, very shortly. And with this Void Array in the mix, this is not looking too bad for Desro right now. Let's see how much damage he does. Drones are being pulled. And I should probably put this name thing up, shouldn't I? I'm not really used to doing that. Um, so we do have seven drones been killed so far. And that's a pretty good trade so far for Desra, especially because Zealots are basically worth, um, you know, peanuts at this stage of the game. Uh, as long as you don't lose this Void Ray, that's the most important thing. And a second Void Ray does come in. And another pylon being warped in by Desra, very aggressive right off the bat. And these Zealots are doing a lot of damage, though. The Spore Crawler is alive, and Desro does not want to lose that Void Ray. Queen is going to chase it down. Got to be so careful. Um, and another Spore Crawl does finish up. Meanwhile, what is going on with this pylon here? Nothing yet, but I expect it to. Desro looks like he's, you know, following this up with Blink. He should be adding on additional gateways uh, if he wants to do this, or at least expand, because you can see his money is starting to rise up right now. Um, and he does warp in more units, and additional two gateways have been uh, put down too. So he's going to come to the third base, but I think that this is pretty much locked down. There is a, a lot of roaches in the main base, and we'll actually hold that thought. Two queens, a lot of units being made. De Revival's going to be fine, but it's how much damage Desro can do right now. So he's killed 10 drones now. 
and Revival smartly building drones to replenish them straight away. But this is very, very nice harassment from Desro. 49 drones now for Revival, 56 probes for Desro, taking a third base immediately. And I don't think that Revival has any idea about this base. Um, meanwhile, the, the pylon on the left here was shut down. This pylon is going to get shut down now, and Revival does survive, of course, but he does take a few heavy hits, but is droning up so heavily right now. He's going to be at a very, very comfortable drone mark, and Desro is a little bit skimping on units, to be honest. He hasn't really warped in anything for a while. He's built gateways, and oh, there's his kind of first warping for a while. Uh, he has got a cannon building. If this cannon completes, this base is going to start to fortify itself, which is obviously fantastic for Desro. Meanwhile, plus two is near completion as well, and there is that meter switch we talked about earlier on. Uh, coming in now as the spire's placed down, he's on six gases, or will be now as he goes into them. Uh, that's going to be a lot of gas, he doesn't have that much right now, but he's going to be saving that. He may even take a fourth base um, right now, or add on a macro hatch to kind of keep his money and gas in equal balance together. Wow, solo casting. Um, meanwhile... Desro adding on an immortal. Oh, not looking so good for Desro right now. He needs to find out about this spire. Um, because if he doesn't scout it, he's going to be in an awful lot of trouble. Meanwhile, he should be able to deal with this rather okay. He's got a lot of force fields here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and with double void rays too, that's excellent. But what I'm worried about is the fact that he doesn't know about the spire. He needs to find out about it. He just has uh, researched hallucination. So I expect to see some hallucinated phoenix coming out very, very shortly here. And as soon as he knows, he'll add on the Templar Archives to start get Storm and, and obviously uh, Archons out. But until that, he's not going to do anything. And there is that Hallucinate Phoenix. And it is going to... Well, actually, no, it's not because the three Spore Crawlers there. And uh, this is going to be painful. Does he spot it? I don't think he does. Let me check. He doesn't spot it. Oh, that's painful. That's kind of painful. I don't think he knows anything about this. And 10 meters are in production right now. Another one is coming in. Does he avoid the Spore Crawls? He needs to avoid them. Uh, meanwhile, what is this? Another... Okay, he's really looking for that tech. He sent in another Hallucinated Phoenix. Here it comes again. Is it going to get it this time? No, don't stop there, Desro. He's poking in the middle at the same time, but he needs to get this scouting information. He has no idea about it. You can see in the production tab that he has no idea about it, and it goes down. And once again, Desro left in the dark, and Revival is going to really... Okay, now this one does spot it now. So he now knows about the Mulisk. What is Desro's reaction to this? A lot of links are in production, and this third base is going to be under a lot of danger. Meanwhile, Desro has to get units into the main base. He did spot it with that Hallucinating Phoenix. Or did he not? Oh my god, he's thrown down a robotics bay. Did he actually not see that? Well, he's going to see it now, that's for sure, uh, as they're in his mineral line. and He should cancel the robotics bay. He needs to throw down the temple archives immediately. Um, Desro's in a lot of trouble right now. Even though his supply is pretty good, he's got a stand, you know, a saturated third base, it's his army composition just isn't ready to deal with this. Um, these void rays are left in an awful position too, and look at it very smartly. Revival taking a fourth and fifth base now, taking map control with Mulisks, and a warp prism. Jesus, Desro, you are skating on thin ash right now. Uh, and there comes down the Templar Archives. Meanwhile, Void Rays picked off. Um, he could have kind of savored them, I, I guess, a little bit better. But against this creep spread, against the, the active Mulus and units around the map, it is hard. But right now, Desro just needs to stay put on three bases and defend. Um, once he gets to Tauntra Supply, adding in Storm and also Temp uh, Archons, then he can look to take uh, one of these bases in the middle. But right now, it's all about defending the main base, which the Mutas, I'm sure, will fly around to soon and also holding on to this third base on the left hand side. Meanwhile, uh, we are also having the Warp Prism speed um, coming in, into effect also. Uh, but we'll say he's doing, he's doing a very good job so far holding on and that early aggression with Zealot and the Void Rays, well done Desro, it did very very good because now it's actually, um, it slowed Revival down and allowed Desro to get a third base up nice and steady. Um, but meanwhile, the Warp Prism is on this left hand side and High Templar being warped in. That's an interesting decision because he doesn't have Storm. Um, and I think he... Oh, the Sling may have spotted it. And Oh, no, 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 no. He did click there with something, though. But Mutas are going into the main base. And two gateways are going to get powered off here for Desro. And Ling roaches... What is okay, so he's waiting for Storm to complete before he goes in. Well, that's going to be quite a while. He's got a good 60 seconds, so he's going to have to hide the Warp Prism. Meanwhile, Observer's in a fantastic location to spot this. I'm a little bit worried for Desro, though, um, as the fourth base now is up and mining with gas. This one is surprisingly not, and he really does need the gas, as you can see in the top right. But Desro Supply stuck at 166, having to warp in four pylons. And his army comp is getting pretty strong now. Plus three on his... Uh, 
on his army, which is pretty good against this. And he doesn't have Storm on these newly warped and high Templars, of course. He's going to have to make Archons, and will be able to hold this. Needs force fields. He needs to force field, and he does indeed. And Stalkers from behind as well. And these Stalkers are going to get picked off all by these Mulas. And Desro has to bust down the force fields with his own Archons to actually defend against this. And Desro is running because Mulas, well, they're at 1 0, and they're pretty good against anything that Protoss has aside from Storm. And they're doing a lot of damage right now. In comes the warp prism. How can Des? Oh no, oh no, Desro. Oh, okay, so he does get off a really good two set of storms. Does kill a lot of pros, but at the same time loses a warp prism and also loses two high templar. Does hurt the economy a little bit, but to be honest, it's so easy just to build five drones when you got two thousand five hundred minerals that I don't think he cares too much. Desro's army, on the other hand, is pretty weak right now. Seventy nine of one three one one three. He needs to not have these units in the center. What is he doing? What is Desro doing? Just donating five centuries to Immortals and Revival is laughing in his boots as he just takes those for free. And now there, there's nothing here. There's no Guardian Shield. Where are the Templar and Archons? I don't think he even has any. And Desro is just going to lose to a simple Mutal Lane composition right now. He is continuing to warp in units, but right now Revival is doing his job as a Zerg player, which is just to wear down the Protoss army and to prevent the gas heavy units, which he's most definitely done, killing those gas and immortals. And Desro's trying to chrono boost into Gateway to get units out, but I think it's just a little bit too much for the Canadian uh, right now as the Mutal Lings are about to tear down everything. Despite three 1 upgrades, the Lings are at 1 0, Muta's at 1 1, but sheer amount of units here is just overwhelming Desro and this is looking pretty bad as his main base is virtually mined out now third base is looking good natural is pretty much mined out as well and revival look at the minimap look how beautiful that looks it's just streams and streams of units and he's playing ultra safe spore crawl spine crawl on every base uh, mulis are being thrown out but look at this just so many units and um, this may be the first map going over to revival here i can't see a way that desro can pull this back he doesn't have the gas he doesn't have high templars and even if he did warp them in they're not going to have storm straight away uh, another warp prism comes in which is obviously curious uh, to why that's coming in that's not really going to help with what's coming right now desro which is a lot of bailings muters and lings and um, coming from every angle right now 71 drones nothing but units in production here for revival the creep spreads even halted right now as he knows he's got this game pretty much um, wrapped up with a nice bow. Um, there comes the warp prism, and to be honest, as a pro player, I'm scared about doing this with the warp prism simply because of the oval is spread about all over the place. But revival doesn't really have that many. But this is going to be, I think, GG here uh, for Desro, losing a lot of probes here. Uh, 31. Now he's actually lost more probes than what revival has, and down goes his army. One, one, two, one. Muters now even. Muters uh, are going to manage to clean up with the rest of this army, and oh wow, even more links. Desro, like a true warrior, stays in to the very end, but GG, oop, I don't even know what any of these keys means, GG there from Desro, and that is the first game of this series, and uh, that was not too bad.